right now we'll see the in last session last session i explained theoretically how to insert the one record into database by using by using jsp technology now we'll see that example practically first we'll see that example practically then later we will see the how to retrieving the data from database to front end application okay right See now here. JSP example. Under that. So now first uh, JSP DB application. Now here I am taking EMP dot JSP. The next EMP dot HTML. This is what EMP dot HTML, right? This is the EMP dot HTML. Now I want to insert this record into database. This is what emp.jsp. See now here JSP init method. The next class dot for name. Oracle dot JDBC dot driver dot Oracle driver. The next con is equal to driver menu dot get connection. The next after that here username and password. The next I am destroying. The next emp number name salary job a retrieved the next offer that i am set it to the all the values to prepared statement then record is inserted successfully then at the rate of include file is equal to emp dot html the next web dot xml web dot xml so this is my app dot xml i am taking here welcome file list the next here lib folder in lib folder ojdbc14 we can place that's enough now we have to copy this example jsp db application the next open the tomcat server web apps folder under that we can paste this is called a deployment of the project go to the SQL then connect sravan slash sravan right now I used what sravan sravan username and password then select star from star from EMP so now here two columns are there right now right sorry four columns are there two rows are there now I am going to deleting delete from EMP then commit then next we can start the server we can start the Tomcat server Now my Stormcat server is going to be started. Server is started successfully. Open the browser and we will make a request the 
Now HTTP colon HTTP colon double slash localhost colon 2014 Then next, click on Tomcat Manager. Then admin, admin. Then next, after that. So now here, what is our project? Our project is JSPDB application. Now we can enter employee number. So now 1001. The next employee name Durga. The next salary is 2000. The next job is faculty. Then store. Now record is inserted successfully. Now one more record. Employee number 1002. The next uh, name is okay. Name is so and so name Nagur. The next salary is 5000. The next job is MD. Otherwise, manager. Manager. Then click on store. Now it is inserted. It is inserted. Like that, any number of records we can insert. So now if you want to see that one, select star from EMP. EMP. So now two records are stored or not? Yes. Like that, keep on we can insert any number of records. In the same way, in the same way, if we want to retrieve then what is the logic here? We will see. So now, instead of insert query, we can take what? Select query, that's enough. Now we will see the JSP retrieve. Okay, JSP retrieve database from input. Now here I am taking test.jsp. First test.html. This is my HTML page. Enter the ID getting the all the values. This is my HTML page. So now getting the getting the input values. Basic.jsp. This is my okay, this is my logic. I am taking here JDBC logic. The next select publishers publishers P U B L I S H E R S select star from publishers So now here now here what is that here records are there okay so many records are there now I am going to deploying. Now I am going to deploying. Now copy this example. We can paste. Then Open the browser. Okay. 
HTTP colon localhost colon 2014 then click on Tomcat manager admin admin JSP retrieved input page so what is the page name page name is test.html test.html now we are getting database lookup please enter the id so now here i entered 1001 submit so we are getting here 1002 what is the problem here there is uh, some iteration problem now how to resolving this problem so nothing is there very simple now just opening basic.htm basic.jsp now here instead of taken while loop we can take what if if result set dot next then we can print now open the browser then http colon localhost colon 2014 the next tomcat manager the next login the next jsp retrieve the next enter the test.html then we will get then we can enter here 1002 assume that then we are going to getting id name city state country right this is the way to retrieving the data this is the way to retrieving the data and previously we are inserting the data in the same way if you want insert or delete or update whatever operations you want we can perform by using this JSP now here whenever we are finding okay this example so now here whatever code we are putting in scriptlet that code is going to be stored into the where so that code is going to be stored into the underscore JSP service method where it is available go to the work folder Catalina local host now under that under that what is our project previously JSP DB app org apache jsp basic underscore jsp is going to be generated or not yes now here underscore jsp service method this is underscore jsp service method inside that service method our code is going to be written this is our code this is our code totally this is our code on it getting my point right this is the way to retrieving the data inserting the data from database to front end and the front end to database communication through JSP right this is the JSP to database communication JSP to database communication the next the next we will see the the next we will see the JSP action tax fine right JSP JSP action tax right now we'll see the JSP action tax JSP action tax so now some of the JSP action tax are some of the JSP action tax are number one number one include action tag include action tag number two forward action tag number three 
param action tag param action tag number 4 number 4 set property action tag number 3 number 5 get property action tag number 6 number 6 use bin action tag use bin action tag like etc like this important tags are there now we'll see the the jsp action tags first we will see the include action tag include include action tag whenever we are using this action tag okay the advantage is to eliminating the to eliminating the some portion of the java code inside the jsp page inside the jsp page so now whenever we are using this tags before using this tags we can use prefix jsp jsp colon tag name tag name like that we can use uh, the jsp action tags jsp action tags right so now here the advantage is to eliminating the some portion of the java code inside the jsp page by using this action tags now first we will see the include action tag include action tag so the purpose of this include action tag is in surlet level we observed in surlet level we observed okay two methods number one is what include method number two is what forward method those two methods was given by the which interface request to dispatcher request to dispatcher is an interface this interface was given by the two important methods number one is what term uh, include method number two is what forward method forward method by using include method we can include the other resources into current page by using forward method we can forwarding the some result from one page to another page one page to another page right one page to another page now in the same way here also include action tag the purpose of the include action tag is if you want to include the other resources into current page then we have to go for include action tag include action tag so now what is the syntax of this include action tag try to understanding here 